Aweber email marketing tutorial step by step. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use this software for email marketing. It's not that hard. So here we are on aweber.com and in order to create an account we just simply need to fill these fields and then just click on and get started. We can also find some information and also prices. We'll discover them a little bit later but they provide us the opportunity to try the software for free so we have like free trial. And after creating an account, these steps are quite simple. We'll come to this page here. And as you can see in the left side, there is a menu with like quick menu where we can use like different shortcuts, uh, messages, automation, subscribers, pages and forms, list options and so on. So if we we'll go to messages and we'll visit like, for example, drafts, broadcast, we can find all this stuff here. We can easily create message. Basically, it's like a text a message. We can easily interact with our subscribers. So as you can see, it looks like this. Uh, the steps are quite simple and we can easily create message by clicking on this button here. On the automation area, we can find some automations we can easily create to interact um, with our subscribers like step by step. On the subscribers folder, uh, we can find all the members of our like newsletter or something like this. We can easily add subscribers if you'll click. As you can see, we can add or import multiple uh, subscribers basically from uh, different apps or we can upload our file. As you can see, XLS, XLSX, TSV, X cv or txt so there are a lot of options we can easily uh, like import contacts into a weber and it's also like pretty cool on the pages and forms uh we can create uh different like campaigns basically or landing pages uh, from this page here and as you can see uh, there are a lot of options we can do like sign up forms landing pages on the list options we can find some other stuff uh, on the web page reports uh, also like folders so uh, we can find some information on on the reports which is pretty cool we can find the all the data from our uh, stats but basically it's only available for the paid plan and we'll discover it a little bit later so let's go to messages here and if you'll click on create a message uh, we can find some options so uh, we can create a drag and drop email uh, like smart design use your website url to create a template a plain text message or HTML ed editor. So basically there are four ways we can create an email, but in this case, let's use drag and drop email builder. I think this is the easiest variant as for the beginner. So uh, we'll come to this page. Uh, yes, no thanks. Uh, and as you can see, now we'll start from a scratch basically. So there is like uh, no options. We can click on templates, of course, to find uh, some templates uh, we can use. And I think it's easier to uh, look, like use templates than to start it from scratch. Of course you can. But in this video, to make the process easier to understand, let's try from templates, for example, from this one here. So I'm going to click, click on apply and now our uh, message our email looks like this so as you can see we have like a lot of uh, sections here like this section here this row this this basically the letter divided into different rows and each row contains from different elements for example here we have like uh, this image and easily we can interact uh, in order to like uh, create rows or delete, we can just simply click on the content and we can easily delete. And as you can see, the element was successfully deleted. In the left side, there is the option to add different elements, text, uh, articles, images, videos, buttons, social, products, coupons, logo, signature, and so on. There are a lot of stuff uh, we can easily use. And basically all we need to do is just to click and then just drag and drop. For example, here, if you want to write something like welcome welcome to this uh, letter something like this so in order to interact with text we can just simply like hover it highlight and then in the top of the screen we can find some properties we can easily change the heading like this uh, font uh, the size of the font we can change the alignment so let's uh, change it to the central ally we can make it bold italic and also i'd like to even increase the size so it may look like this uh, let's delete our logo for example and in this case uh, every single element has its own properties so sometimes they could be like shown in the top of the screen and sometimes in the right side menu so for example for this image here we can easily 
uh, interact with the right side menu. We can change it like upload image. We can find it from image galleries. We can design it on Canva. So they have like Canva integration, which is pretty cool. Or we can search on, on Splash. So I think that this one, this option is pretty like easy. We can download and then just upload it to our website. I think it's pretty cool. Or we can like change it by image URL, change the alignment. So there are a lot of options we can interact with. And in this case, we can easily uh, like work with um, every single element with this text here with this button here and uh, to interact with the layout we can just we need just simply click on this row for example and as you can see there is like a row uh, parameters so we are going to delete uh, like uh, create different columns we can easily do it right up here let's click on save and exit to continue our like uh, campaign creating and basically from this page here, uh, we need to insert your subject. We can uh, click on it right up here. So let's click. And um, we need to input like basically all the uh, stuff. So insert your subject line, let it be like, uh, welcome, welcome here. Yeah, something like this. Let's click on save and exit. And our subject will be successfully like in inserted. So insert title, all the content you're share in post. So here we need to add something we are going to share. So we can basically add the uh, like, well, thanks for subscribe, save and exit. And in this case, we can interact with this tab here. So basically we can insert it maybe here or maybe in this part here. So let it be, uh, thanks save and exit uh, also we need to input like uh, let chat options and do some other stuff and if you are going to click on uh, the next stuff uh, we can easily interact so let's click on basically uh, somewhere here we need to be able to interact with other others stuff so this is a way of uh, how can we create a campaign and after that, we are able to run it easily. We can also create like A-B testing and some other stuff. Yeah, like this. And if we're going to discover the paid plans, we can find the unlimited plus and light. The prices are different. If you're going to pay monthly, it will be like $30, $15 and $8, $900 basically. And here is the differences. So this is a way of uh, how can we use Aweber. We also discovered the paid plans. I hope guys this idea helped you out. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. That's all for this video. I wish you a very good day and I hope this video made your life a little bit easier. Goodbye.